to see how this goes. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, I'm Neil, and usually I'm a tight wood dad trying to be happy with what we've already got. That's words on the screen. The great shutdown of 2020. And oh, by the way, look at our lovely town statue. Everyone's getting into the mood. So here's how you can buy postage online at home for yourself. Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to the Happy Hearts. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm like you, I hate going to the post office even when there isn't an international emergency going on. <laughs> We're in the middle of the great shutdown of 2020. I could not think of a better excuse to not go and use one of those self-service machines at the post office. And I thought there has to be a, a, a better way of living. And uh, also, at the moment, this has given me a chance to try things that I've never done before. So today's thing that I've never done before is buy postage online. I've got the internet ready and uh, come see my screen. There's no internet. <laughs> okay, so I've finally got the internet back on. Thanks kids. And it's, it's the evening now, so I thought I'd, I'd come in here. And this is the website that you need. Now I'll put the link to this website in the description. You might be watching this in 2021 or 2022 even. I'll change the link in the description if it changes, but that's the link that I'm using. And they've got this walkthrough uh, system with you. So the first thing you need to know is where you're sending your parcel. That's United Kingdom, I know that, that's good. Now the next thing you need to know is the weight. So this is a shot of me right now weighing the package on our kitchen scales. They want it in either grams or kilograms, as you can see there. We're lucky enough to have the scales and it's, it's 480, so I can type that into the website. 480. And it's grams, so I'm gonna click on the grams, not the kilograms, that will change the price quite a lot. And then we'll click on send an item now. Now we put in a few more details about the item. We have to put in the size of the package. Let me get the package here. By the way, I think this is probably my favorite part of buying postage online. You don't have to answer that stupid question that you do in the post office, you know, when they ask you what's in your package. What I want to say is it's a small, packet of none of your business but that's not very <laughs> that's not very nice so I usually end up going oh this is my embarrassing package uh, but this is actually embarrassing I've cleared out the loft I'm going to send some stuff back to my sister it's a uh, top of the pops magazine from 2001 and some photos of uh, by the way the photos let's cover this up what were my parents thinking what that was that was a fancy dress costume on holiday not only do I appear like that on holiday, but we've, we've captured it on film. What's, what's in the package there, sir? Oh, it's just a photo of me with a, as, as Adam, <laughs> dressed with big leaves that we've just found on the holiday complex. Oh, you should see what the complex looks like now. It's an absolute wreck. Like me. This is the package of embarrassment that I want to send and buy the postage for. So it wants the shape of your item. If you put in a very low number of grams, you can actually just buy a stamp for a letter. Yeah, if I put in here, say it's, I don't know, 20 grams, uh, you can see you've got, you've got the option of a letter. So you can just buy a stamp for a letter using this system. So it works for big parcels and small letters. And you can see it's offering me a large letter. It's definitely not a large letter. Basically click on the box that is the size of your package. And mine looks like the small parcel from 295. Click continue. It takes you to a, a, another section now, which is what service would you like it? How would you like it delivered? And the options here are second class, first class, signed for second class. You can see the price is going up here. Signed for first class uh, to arrive in one to two business days. Uh, track 24, so it's a next day delivery signed for. Uh, I, I'm a tightwad dad <laughs> and I'm not made of money. So I'm gonna go for second class plus. I don't think anyone's in any rush to be seeing this stuff. I think the longer it's in the hands of the Royal Mail, 
the better. We click on continue, which takes you to the next section, which is where is your package going? Now you can type in a postcode and look for the address with this pull down menu. Now, now I don't want this package falling into the wrong hands. So let's send it to, let's look up a postcode, SW1A2AA. Oh, how about that? How about let's send it to number 10 Downing Street as my example address. This is gonna cause a visit from uh, <laughs> <laughs> some kind of authority so this is just a demonstration but as you can see if you type in the postcode it offers you addresses for that postcode so you choose the right address and it fills in the boxes for you or you can fill those in manually yourself and then we'll click continue here you just type in your address and then you can also enter your address manually and then there's an option on this page uh, check this box if you do not want your sender details to appear on the label there's an option where you can have like a return to sender address put on the label but given it's got all of your details anyway I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that but anyway that option is there for you so this is the next page where you can now complete your purchase and actually pay for the postage I've blanked out the address it's going to and the address it's going from but you can see that it's telling me, confirming me it's a small parcel, Royal Mail second class postage. And you can see there's an option here to edit any of those details or delete it if you've got it wrong and start again. And then you can complete your purchase. So it says once you've completed your purchase, your items will be need to be posted within seven days. So you put in your email address. Don't write those words, obviously write your email your actual email address and then finally you just need to tick a couple of boxes first I confirm I have entered the correct weights for the items being sent and I'm not sending any item which is prohibited or restricted in the UK I don't know some of those photos but I'll tick it anyway I'm sure you would have read the terms and conditions right <laughs> now it gives you two options at the moment uh, it's pay with PayPal or pay with debit or credit card let's go with pay with debit or credit card but also here you can see there's a nice handy infographic to show you uh, how to buy postage online once we've paid for it we're going to print a label and stick that label onto the package so we click with pay with debit or credit card and this is really straightforward all you do is type in your card number the card holders name and the expiry date and the security code so I've clicked on make payment. It's now saying my payment is being processed. Always a worrying time. So there we go. It says, thank you for your purchase. Your purchase postage and it's confirmed the addresses and the payments. Now you can get your postage to print out from two places here. I can either click on view your documents and there is the postage label ready to print out or next to the details it says view label so if I click on view label there it is and if you view your label you'll have an option there you can download it onto your computer or you can just hit print straight from there I like to save it on my computer because I'm of an age where I want to hold on to stuff <laughs> so let's send it to the printer straight away and here it comes out to the printer and here's the label fresh off the printer it's huge look at it <laughs> it's massive so the next thing you'll need is a bit of uh, crafting i can never find glue i always get it and then the kids nick it so you stick it to the package there <laughs> that's good to go you have now successfully bought a stamp online leave a comment down below if you have any questions i'm sure someone will be able to to help you or even just to say hi if you reach this point in the video thank you for for watching i really hope this this helps you to do it i've not done this before so i'm quite excited this is me recording the worst piece to camera ever showing me posting the actual item and that's how you can buy your postage online too well that was a, a different envelope so anyway if you have reached this point in the video thanks for watching why not hit the the thumbs up button if this video has helped if you're feeling even kinder why not hit the subscribe button down below that helps me to keep this going we're trying to get this to about 10,000 subscribers I don't think that will ever happen but if you do hit subscribe I really appreciate it good luck on your avoiding the post office avoiding using those self-service machines 
ever again. You and me, we can stay out of this and do this at home. Thanks for watching. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks. Bye. How was that?